Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Endless Legend. We've had a kind of a weird game here. We've gotten lucky in a lot of ways, and it has been easy for us to uh, to stay internal here and not have to like w devote a lot of resources to war. Uh, frankly, didn't need to devote even nearly the amount that we did devote, although it's hard to know that for sure. The fact that we had a standing army, weak as it was, uh, and the fact that we had reasonable stats on our troops may well have been part of what prevented Green from declaring war on us. Uh, they prefer to take on an easy target, obviously. So who knows? Maybe the uh, maybe the amount of military we p stuff we picked up was actually important. But anyway, uh, we are on the road now. We are on the road to the next step of our faction quest. So we are seven turns off of naturally having the Palladian we need to finish up the quest. What we also need is to worry about our influence. We I ran us all the way out of influence here, and we have an empire plan coming up in eight turns. So, what are we talking about in terms of costs? We need 100 influence, which we will have easily. Uh, we're getting 16 per turn right now, so we'll have, um, what, 128 on turn 80? So it's easy enough to just keep on the, the path we've been going. We could construct the wonder a little bit faster if we could get to 300, which would require us in 8 turns to be producing, what, like a little under 40, right? Somewhere, somewhere in the neighborhood of 40. Uh, which is maybe doable. Like, what if we moved... Well, Tural's probably not the place to do it, because we're pumping population there super fast. But, like, what if we moved a bunch of people over to industry, or influence? As it is right now, we're only getting two influence per citizen. But we definitely have the people to do that. Let's try to figure out exactly what we want our empire plan to be. Uh, hold on. Where are we at, approval-wise? 56? Okay, so actually... I wonder if this is a better play. Like, maybe we don't do this at all. We spend 300 down here. Take ourselves up 25 points. 25 points would take us not quite into happy. Or, sorry, not quite not quite into uh, the highest level of approval. We'd, we would be happy. Um, but I believe the highest level of, of approval starts at either 85 or 90. Something in my head is saying 90. And I'm wondering if I'm thinking 85, because that's where the highest level of approval is in Endless Space 2. Um, so we'd be close to it. It's not impossible that we could get up there. That might be a better play, because of course, uh, jumping up approval levels does give you a, uh, a bonus to your uh, food and industry output in a city. So why don't we aim for 300 influence? That should be pretty doable. Uh, I think we can afford to... Yeah, we can afford to pull back on Madanav a little bit. We need to be at 40-ish, right? Yeah, we could. We, it could be like 38, would be fine. So 30, yeah, this will work. Okay. Unless I'm miscalculating somewhere and we're actually, we are actually getting eight turns worth of, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 we're fine. If it turns out I've done the math wrong and we're only getting seven turns of ticks before the uh, before the thing fires, we'll just move all the population of Tural over to influence for a turn or something. It'll be fine. Okay. And with that, let us keep going. Uh, so what are we going to do with our army right now? Well, I guess one thing our army can do is uh, run around and lay out some volcano formers. There is some expansion to consider. But hopefully we will not actually have to fight anybody anytime soon. Oh, by the way, we should definitely pick up the old luxury resource gathering tech. Because we now have two spice deposits. And that is just free food and influence. That is, or, uh, approval, rather. That is waiting for us to come and get it. So, yeah, the first thing we want to do with this army is go and volcano form the area around Tiran's golem camp. Endwin has finished its granary and needs what? Probably a golem camp as well. Where do we put this? Uh, we're going to expand out here naturally, obviously, so we'd want to put it down here somewhere, except there isn't any valuable territory down here. Uh, we can put it up here instead. There's not really anything of value up here either. Well, we have some river techs. Maybe like... We could put it down near the river and just get maximum value out of those. We could put it down near these ruins. This is three river tiles and the ruin, which is a little bit of extra science. 
We can do it right here and get four river tiles. Right here is four river tiles as well, I guess, and it's a little further from the city. It gives us a little bit more room before we are impinging on the city's growth. Yeah, the little bit of extra science probably is not that valuable. Sure, that'll do. It's not amazing, but we didn't really have an option of an amazing location there. Oh, we are still gaining approval, too. We don't actually have central markets in all of our cities. Uh, that's probably worth building next. Yeah, so if we can execute this, uh, this Empire plan, I think we're going to be in really good shape. How much does it cost to build that building, anyway? It is 800 industry. So if we were to shunt everybody over here, we're looking at 140. Okay, it's not even going to be that long of a build. And we're gaining dust pretty rapidly. How, have heroes gone up by much? I'm closer to 650 now. So yeah, we're going to be able to buy another governor before too much longer. Uh, it looks like everything's looking up for us. Oh, also, we're going to gain a, a huge boost in approval from Bread and Circuses. So yeah, the 25 approval from the Empire Plan will definitely put us into the highest approval bracket. That's pretty great. Uh, we do not have a tremendous amount to do. It's going to be a <laughs> going to be a pretty quick couple of turns here. So let's see. That would be four. Yeah, I'll make a two adamantian volcano former. No, you know what? That's that's silly. Four uh, four titanium is not a real cost. Oh, sorry, six titanium. I was looking at our current uh, yield per turn. Uh, so let's go ahead and volcano form there. And then we should come down here and do it to this camp as well. And what am I doing with you? You're just riding around exploring ruins, I guess. Since we and Green are such uh, fast friends here. 100 extra science, pretty cool. May as well keep having a look around. Oh, and over here. All right, I do want to be careful not to meet that other player. The moment we meet the Wild Walkers the mo the mo is the moment we're going to have to start like worrying about them killing us. Oh, hey, 30 wine. Was there something we needed wine for? I mean, There's probably a minor faction quest at some point in the past. Well, with the number of villages we have, or the number of cities we have, 30 is the amount that a booster costs, and we should definitely just pop this now. We can... Uh, ride happy approval. Actually, once Bread and Circus is finished, finishes, we'll be, we'll probably be in the highest approval bracket all the way up to the Empire Plan. And then the Empire Plan will keep us there for the 20 turns after that. This is pretty good. Okay, we have lots of stuff queued up here. Do we have anything else queued here? No, but it is probably the case that the next thing I would build would be the next borough. Uh, here, we after we get the market, we probably want to put up right of way although we also yeah we still probably need science as well i don't know for sure that we ever need another technology because i don't know what else the uh faction quest is going to ask of us it may be that we are done with research i just completely missed how is it that i managed to play action games when i can't click on a location on a map consistently uh, and if you're watching either of the more action gamey series that are going on on this channel right now, you know the answer is badly. Badly is how I manage. See, so yeah, we got a couple of real quiet turns here as we're just slowly teching up and resting Auriga's natural resources from her. Listen, if she didn't want us to have the Adamantian, or the Palladian rather, all she would have to do is say, hey, could you cut that out? And then I would say no, obviously. But what my point is, she could ask. All right, we'll go and grab this ruin next. So they have some kind of crazy dust phoenix over there. That's a neat looking unit. I honestly do not remember what a lot of the units do, so that's really all the commentary I have. Yeah, that's neat looking. Uh, oh, magma hydraulics. That's right. We do have some magma flow around us. Did we actually take any of the magma flow territory? No, we didn't. We allowed the magma flow territory to be taken by other players. We do have a couple of magma flow over here. Actually, we have a magma flow running through the center of this territory, although we're not actually working any of those tiles. 
Okay, so that's not a high priority. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Obviously, there's uh, the cargo dock, which is, again, not great for us. Uh, siege engineering, which is probably not really relevant to what we're doing. Oh, you know what? I was just talking about it. We do need to go get the ability to uh, mine those spices. And then... Maybe we should head toward public works and like actually having the ability to produce the influence to have good empire plans. Would be important. We don't really need reaping station, right? We only have like one source of uh, one source of a luxury resource that I'm very not impressed with. You pick up borough government and toughen our cities up. You know what? Let's head toward borough government. By the time you know you need to toughen up, it's too late to do it, right? So, given this period, this long period of quiet, we should uh, take advantage of it. You know what else we should get is we should get um. Ocean Travel Tech. Let's actually throw that on the queue as well. I want to be able to put my dudes out on the ocean so we can search some sea ruins. Have a look around, you know. Maybe there will be free stuff just waiting for us in the water. Alright, as military tensions heighten across Ariga, alliances become desirable and generate additional influence. Uh, that does sound desirable. Okay, plus one all resources, or plus one resource per citizen working on a thing. Seems good. Uh, we do not have the Alliance tech, so we can't take advantage of that event even if I did want to. Yeah, I think the only thing that really makes sense to do here is just to keep building out. So, the question is, in which direction? We could build here and level up this district. We could build here or here to level up that district. Honestly, even if we're going to build up this way, we should probably build here, you know, like, turn the corner so that we're still leveling stuff up. I guess we could put down here as well. That gets us a couple of decent tiles and would level up two districts at the same time. And then we can build out from the city in whatever direction we really want. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. That's the Palladian deposit. What we should actually try to do is save that for a strategic intensifier, because we'll be able to build this as soon as the next winter starts. It'll be, what, 10 pearls to buy it? Or, uh, okay, 20 pearls probably to buy the blessing, and then 10 pearls to actually make the district. So I guess we're pretty short on that. But we may, we may want to leave that spot open. Okay, let's build... How much do I want to really depend on having that built? Because we could, we could just go up this way, right? Now, let's build here. It'll level up another district right away. We'll get this all figured out. Our city's going to be kind of an awkward shape, but it'll be fine. Okay, I think we can probably just keep going on the Titanium Volcano Formers for the moment. Uh, and then, like, we already volcano formed all this stuff, right? Yeah, okay, this is volcanic terrain. Uh, boy, I don't know what to do. I guess just stay near the water so that we can jump in the water as soon as the boats are finished. Don't really have a lot else to do. Although, probably our main army should not go into the water. This guy can go into the water. Finding 300 science. Wow, 200 science. Not bad. It is nice to do a little bit of late game searching. I guess we can hang out over here. Jump in the water and get this and then head right back out. Did I actually... Yes, I did put that in the queue. Okay. I think I'm going to move it up in front of borough government. We haven't actually needed to defend ourselves. And uh, hopefully that will remain the case. But I don't want to trust it. All of a sudden, we are getting more influence. Where is the rest of this coming from? Oh, from city. Thanks. That's very helpful. Uh, leveling districts up. That create extra... We're getting four influence from the Altar of Ariga now. Man, I don't remember if that's how much we were getting from it before. We actually haven't really leveled uh, districts up, so I guess that's not going to be the source of it up okay we have unfortunately met another player oh 
well, that's quite a reason to have met them. Uh, they are suddenly our neighbor. So they're swapping a lot of territory with Red, strangely. This is kind of interesting. So let's talk about the option that has just been presented to us. We got stuff building, we got stuff researching, all that's good. We now have the ability to take this territory while still maintaining a reasonably friendship, friendly relationship with Red. In fact, improving the friendliness of our relationship with Red. If we did that, it would mean we have to start paying more attention to Gadanak because the Vaulters might, uh, might see fit to come and fight us. But also, they might have other problems, right? The, uh, the Wild Walkers are clearly feeling pretty aggressive. In fact, they're feeling very aggressive. Uh-oh, I'm starting to become concerned that the Wild Walkers are going to kill us. Oh, well, maybe we don't want to get involved in some kind of big skirmish then. But I'm just thinking, like, man, if we declared war on the, on the Vaulters now or very soon, I took this from them, we get territory and we get to stay friendly with the people who had that territory. Maybe we should, maybe we should do this just because it'll make it more, uh, we'll have a little bit wider industrial base and so it will be easier to defend ourselves against the Wild Walkers when they come calling because it's increasingly seeming like that's going to happen. Uh, I don't know. This is, uh, I guess let's, let's try to get over here. You know what? I, first of all, I need to actually hire a hero. Secondly, let's actually get you retrofitted. Let's get over here and have a look at the city center. We can make a decision uh, once we see whether there's actually an army over here. And you just keep... Keep searching, keep getting me stuff. You got a lot of dust really quickly there, and I was not paying enough attention. Okay, looks like no ruins over here. Oh, we're pretty much just going to dive straight into the sea shortly. Now, it's possible that the uh, the Wild Walkers will not be a problem for us. It's possible they won't want to fight, but that's not really... I think that's not really how they are. So we can actually, after this turn, we can pull back on Madanav's influence production a little bit. Or I guess we could just keep it up. I forgot to buy a hero. Uh, we could just keep it up and have ourselves a little bank. But uh, we have stuff to build. In fact, we could just leave that the way it is. So let's get our spice mining going. That's not the city at all. And then probably... Probably some more military units, honestly. Starting to think that we might be in a little bit of trouble here. Alright, let's go get ourselves a hero. They have become quite a bit more expensive as well, which is unfortunate. Uh, you have industry efficiency one. You have uh, nothing. No, no city skills. Ooh, that's like Tarash is up. So this guy is a little bit unusual. He's a haunt. He's the only haunt hero in the game. Uh, he has Science Boost 1, and then a bunch of Science-Based Skills. Science for Ruins, which we're already getting, so we are prioritizing Ruins as it is. It might be good to go for uh, additional Chain Lightning abilities, the ability to spread disease when he fights, plus 60% uh, Science Output on his city during the winter. That's pretty okay. But he's probably not our guy here. Dust Boost... In fact, it sort of looks like there aren't really great uh, govern governing heroes here. We do have Long Fangs with, uh, with slavery. We do have a couple of regions that have a couple of villages. Uh, Long Fangs is particularly good. The Cravers, sorry, the Necrophages in general are particularly good at uh, increasing your ability to have population and create units. Maybe that's actually the play. We get long fangs. Gloria here has influence boost. That's not bad. And then a uh, big approval boost if you're on the coast. A lot of this stuff is personal buffs to his effectiveness as a naval unit. Uh, where do we have multiple minor factions? Madanav has three minor faction villages, right? 
Yeah. So we could get, uh, what's his face? Longfangs and have him be the governor of Madinav. That's not bad, actually. Yeah, let's go ahead and take him. Alright, get in here and make this city even more powerful. It's a pretty good city now. It can be better. And you are just level 1, so we should probably see a couple levels from him pretty quickly. Uh, he'll assist growth, and then he'll reduce the cost of units in the city. It's a little awkward because the city's pretty far out of the way uh, in terms of like where we'd actually be battling, but at least we have good roads now. I am confident we will figure it out. Maybe I shouldn't rock the boat. Maybe we'll be well enough off just... Uh, Kind of seems like they maybe don't have any units over here. I wonder if we could do this. Declare on them, take Lurten, and then just rush our whole army up here to play defense. We don't know where the forces that took Lurten are, unfortunately. Because it might not be much of an army. It might be that they the process of taking Lurten wore them down a bit. Red would appreciate it if we came to their aid. We could get a free city out of it. <sighs> but we know that Blue's going to have a much better level of technology than we do. Uh, our people, people are in Era 5 already. And the Vaulters are likely to be high on science, because they're a science uh, civilization. They might have way better military tech than we do. And if we end up going up against, like, you know, an eight-unit army that has adamantian weapons or something, that could be a real problem for us. Uh, by the way, the adamantian and palladian armor techs I like a lot more than the, uh, the glass steel and titanium ones. In part because the talismans that are associated with these for governors are a little bit more useful. I don't know. I'm nervous. I want free stuff, but I think that the, the cost of taking this might be our whole game. If this doesn't go exactly right. But we probably do need to keep getting more powerful. Yeah, okay, let's do it. Let's go for it. Uh, the way we should do this is we should call up these guys and ask them what they will give us... No, wait, that's not what I want, sorry. Uh, we should ask them what they will give us in exchange for a declaration of war. So if I offer peace, and also I'll declare war on Kevad, what will you give me? Let's see, there's a couple of texts they'd be willing to part with. Nothing really great. Yeah. Uh, we could get... Jeez, they have a lot of Palladian now. As soon as I stop checking them for Palladian, suddenly they're just rolling in it. Uh, pearls. Oh, we do need pearls. We can take their pearls. Oh, wait. But I can't really afford to spend influence right now. Certainly not 130. Yeah, shoot. How much would it be to declare war on you? 75. I can't really do either of those things. Never mind. I guess we're going to chill. We're just going to hang out for a while. Yeah, not ideal. Influence, man. Uh, so do we want to pull people back over? We probably want to keep people focused on industry here. Do we want to pull people somewhere else away from industry over onto influence so that we can start building up for the war that we are probably going to have? We could do it in Tural. If I pulled everybody off food, we still, we still have a birth next turn. We still are outputting a pretty good amount of food, and the people in Tural are more effective at producing influence than they are everywhere else, thanks to Exid. Yeah, maybe we do this for a couple of turns. Well, I need to get everybody back on industry as soon as this is available next turn. Yeah, tough one. How long does it take to build one of these here if we focus up? This might be a thing to do. We may end up at war with these uh, vaulters soon. We should probably have units in the garrison of that city. 
All right, let's let's keep. I'm gonna go ahead and let Terrell do a a heavy influence produce for a turn. We gotta open up our diplomatic options a little bit here. And you guys, what do you guys actually need to do? I guess we're allowed into their territory, right? We could just run in. If we get in trouble, we can retreat and, and come home, but we should run in and gather information, probably. Some stuff is happening in my neighboring provinces, and I need to know what is going on. Oh, right, winter. Winter is what's going on. Well... Hopefully we'll get some good pearl spawns, I guess. Uh, so, uh, the winter effect is... A difference in range uh, range on units. Somebody spent a bunch of pearls to not have the fortification thing happen. Alright. Anomalies producing industry are weaker. Anomalies producing food are stronger. Or rather, food production on anomalies, I guess is the, uh, the correct way to say that. Well, let's have a quick look around. I'm hoping we can get some pearls and also some intel here. Uh, you probably want to also be looking for pearls. That's, that's four pearls right there. We should grab that. Before green crosses our border and takes it for us. We'll run back over and, uh, and get into the water next turn. Alright, Toral needs to start building this immediately. Four turns. So we do this, then we get our free hero, and then our hero has to be a governor for six turns, right? And then I don't remember what comes after that. It does sort of seem like they've just abandoned this, though, doesn't it? I guess if we had taken this city, too, it would have been even harder to hit our empire plan because the cost of the empire plan tiers is based on the number of cities you have. So we would love to get to 30 pearls by the end of this winter. I mean, it doesn't actually have to be by the end of this winter, but you know. Oh, have we been... We have been border closed. Okay. So I must follow a path that takes me out of their, out of their region. Okay, you can... Steal this pearl deposit, which Green will probably get a little bit cross about, but... You know, so it goes, I guess. Uh, we have our shipyard now, so next turn you can get in the water. Working on lots of science buildings, which is probably fine. So right now we're at nine. We're at eighty-nine percent. Uh, when the wine wears off in four turns, it will be exactly replaced by this approval boost. No, sorry, the approval boost is only twenty-five. So we actually will not be that close to uh, to the maximum approval status. We will, however, be... Okay, I'm assuming this didn't update in real time. We will be at maximum approval level for the next uh, the next couple of turns here, though. Until the wine booster runs out. And then we will, be, we, will, we will be kept happy by all the wine. Which is exactly how wine works in real life, right? Yeah, I was, I'm a little concerned about the slowness of our faction quest plan here. This may not go quite as well as I thought it was going earlier in the game. That's another four pearls, so we need to find six more. I wish we had better vision. We need um, watchtowers or something. Oh, no. Well, this wasn't my fault. They ran into my territory. Now that they know us, uh, there is risk of war. Seems like they're really, really into war. So we're gonna... Yeah, we're, we're building up Gadnax Garrison already. We're definitely gonna build the borough government structures there as soon as we can. Uh, yeah, we just... In general, we need to have more military now. So at this point, probably the plan to take 
the city from the vaulters is off the table ish. I just really don't want to have to devote a bunch of units down here and then have the Wild Walkers go, aha, an opening, and totally wreck us. Okay, another two pearls. Yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna get where we're going on pearls at least. And two more turns until the riding school is completed. And we are rapidly moving toward having another uh, governor available as well. Okay, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Ardent Mage is pretty upset about the pearls. You know, these things happen. I didn't mean anything by it. Okay, we've gotten all those pearls over there. Hold on, we'll come back to those guys. Let's do a little bit of sea foraging. Okay, we got the boarding vessel tech and also 100 science. That's, that's a little bit more than I was expecting to find there. Having the ability to build boarding vessels doesn't actually do anything for us right now. We don't have any uh, coastal cities, but we could. It wouldn't take too long to build Tiran out to the coast. You know, we should build a spice extractor here. And keep an eye on how quickly the spice is coming in. We just finished the other extractor, so we're going to be getting two per turn. Hopefully, uh, enough to keep a booster running semi-frequently. I'll have a quick scout around with this guy. Make sure that there's no uh, there's no pearls to grab over here. Actually, we should kick this stone sentinel out and... Oh, I can finally go and grab that. That's four pearls. Now that we have the ability to make ships. Uh, so, let's buy the design for the strategic intensifier. And then queue up a strategic intensifier. Yeah, we could probably do it in that order. That's fine. All right, so next turn the faction quest moves forward. We get a free hero uh, over here. Probably we should have right of way everywhere. Um, you know what? I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a little bit lazy here. We're not gonna build the extractor. You can build a strategic intensifier over an extractor. Building the extractor here would not prevent us from putting down the intensifier, but. We can save a little bit of industry by going into the intensifier without building the extractor first. And I think we have some time on the adamantium. We're not going to run out immediately or anything. Let's see, head over here. Just make sure that there's not any big pearl deposits near the border that we need to race over to. Like this, this one pearl that's over here can wait. Although probably green would get mad at us if we took any more pearls near the border. What are we going to get from this as a reward? A bunch of blood crystal? Eh. Whatever, I guess. We still don't have the uh, the marketplace resource tech. We could, we could pick that up and then sell off some of these extra luxuries. These ones that aren't really going to help us. Alright, so you've got another level up. Uh, we probably want to just climb this as quickly as possible. Get to cold operator and stuff. But... You know, I think there's an argument for also just finishing Impassioned Preacher. Alright, somebody died. It's the Broken Lords. Yep, and now these guys are right up against us. It's a really, really good idea for us to strengthen Gatamek. Okay, looks like no pearls over here, probably. Really, I can't just see... I'm like, I know this is a higher elevation, but it's also a straight line. Like, I should be able to see up that hill. Okay, so what do we have here? Dakari Rangers. These are the basic unit of the Wild Walkers. Uh, pretty high damage. Pretty high attack. Like, really high attack. That is a dangerous unit. And Wild Walker units have this Forest Rage ability that I believe gives them plus 50% attack when standing on a forest tile in combat. So that's pretty dangerous, but the bad news is they came at us through Broken Lord's territory, which is very dry and deserty. There's not a lot of forests around for them to take advantage of that uh, with. Alright, so we're going to get all these guys back in Gadenek's garrison. As soon as Gadenek finishes that stone sentinel, we are straight on. Oh, never mind. I can't queue it up until next turn. We are straight on to these uh, fortification techs. 
uh, research golem rider units, which we already have. So Hakiawai is now available, and then we must assign Hakiawai as a governor for six turns. We'll get some adamantium because apparently you can never receive Palladian as a quest reward. Well, I guess we'll put her in Hendwin. It doesn't really matter where. Uh, here's a question. Do we intend to keep her governing? Because it turns out that the faction tree for these guys is not terrible. If we intend to keep her governing, it might be a good idea to swap somebody out of a volcanic city and swap her in. Although I guess she gets the benefit on just volcanic terrain, so like anywhere we put her down is going to be vol volcanic terrain. Never mind. Because we actually did volcano form all of our cities. Yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, and take her up the governor track. So Heat of the Hearth is pretty good. Like, Blazing Ingenuity up through here is probably the way we want to go. Plus resource generation on strategic deposits. Gives the hero the portable forge ability to allow army units to retrofit and the hero to re-equip on enemy and neutral territory. Wow. That's actually really cool. I'm going to finish taking this because I want the extra point of industry per terrain tile and then we'll move up from there. Okay, uh, we probably are holding off on dust until we can get enough dust for uh, a hero again. We can put a governor in tier in. So you guys, I guess, should go get this pearl at this point. Not a lot of uh, other stuff of terrible import to be done down here. Uh, Madinav produced another stone sentinel who is going to go south and check out the ocean a little bit. These guys are going to run generally north. Let's just be ready for stuff to uh, suddenly turn against us. And by stuff, I mean that player over there. Uh, and I guess we'll just like produce some more stone sentinels, right? I don't really see a reason to stop. Let's completely fill... Uh, get an ex-garrison. At the very least. It's nice to have military units that don't have any upkeep costs. There's, a, like, really no reason not to build them. Oh, this is, like, a lake. I thought this was the ocean out here. Well, still, free ruins. Okay, we're a little bit weak on dust right now, all of a sudden. Ah, the wine booster ran out, so our approval level has dropped to only happy, although at 91% we should be ecstatic. Hmm. One of these two labels is wrong. Unfortunately, I have no idea which one. Ah, uh, so yeah, we definitely want to just push up toward cold operator for him. Cold Operator is really, really valuable for Governors. Sometimes it's important to get it on uh, uh, Army Commanders as well. So, plus 100 Fortification on the city. Yeah, plus 200 Fortification on the city. That seems like a good way to go next. Pop you into the garrison. Have you come over here and pop you into the garrison. I want it to be clear to... The Wild Walkers, that it will not be profitable to attack Gadanak. In the hopes of dissuading them from making us defend ourselves. Because having to actually uh, fight would weaken us, and I'm not confident that the other players around us would not see that, as, see that as an opportunity. Although I guess, obviously, Red's not going to attack us. Uh, down here, we don't really need to rush to, uh, improvements like that. I doubt this city will get attacked, so we probably just want to expand. It doesn't really matter which direction we do it in too much, so let's do it toward the river. And we're going to need to, uh, volcano form a bit. This guy can do it on his way back north. Keep looking around for, uh, for pearls and stuff. We're close to having enough pearls to put down the strategic intensifier that we want in Hendwin. 
I've been attacked by a minor faction army because the AI is not clearing out their minor factions. Well, this Golem Rider, remember, is base stats, except for the improved movement, so he would actually lose this fight pretty badly. Uh, so we're just going to have him make a run for the other uh, the other coastline here. I'd love to search that ruin if we can pull that off before diving in the water without getting killed. Okay, it looks like our uh, dust readout has readjusted to the fact that we actually are at a nice high level of approval. So we need two more techs to move up to the next research era. Let's make them... Uh, we could go big plow factory. We have a lot of population already in a lot of our cities, but a, a big population is a good way to be versatile. Uh, that said, we also haven't actually picked up any of the river techs. We probably should. We have a number of cities that can take advantage of these. Uh, statistical methods is also very good. I was I was thinking fluid biomechanics continue to work on the river stuff. But honestly, statistical methods is probably a better way to go here. It is getting to be the case that we are... Uh, we're going to be able to get some pretty good play out of the advanced alchemy lab in a couple of our cities. All right, can we keep, uh, please keep the faction quest pinned, just so that I'm aware of our progress. All right, I'm a lot faster than these haunts are. I'm just going to mash the heck out of this button and hopefully get on the other side of that ruin real quickly. Uh-oh. With the end of winter comes a little bit more vision and a knowledge that I, in fact, cannot get down into the ocean from over there. And we still got to run or we're going to get attacked, but... Search this before they get us. Just go. Just go. Get in the water. Okay. They may still attack me, but there's a pretty good chance we'll be able to search some of these ruins. Yeah, it looks like they've, uh, they're slowly resting the seas away from the Ardent Mages. There's a lot of stuff going on on the water this game that we unfortunately just don't get to be a part of at all. Okay. Influence generated by alliances has returned to normal. Over here in Tiaran, we are... Just going to build ourselves a nice triangle, I guess. I don't know where the city's going. We got a quest. Construct an influence-related building to get 25 blood crystal. Man. I suppose we could. Uh, what do I want you to do? We were coming over here to look for pearls. Okay, well, there are no pearls to be had. In that case, you're just kind of like milling around awkwardly. I guess we could uh, we could go up here and grab this ruin. That's worth some XP. So Red has not managed to take back this territory from the Vaulters. Ah, they did take this territory from the Vaulters, though. This was light blue quite recently, wasn't it? So we can actually go to the war with the Vaulters probably without there being any major drawback now, because this is the only city they have bordering us. So actually, we should probably pull the army back and start threatening the city. What are the upcoming winter effects? Minus attack on infantry, plus attack on ranged. Uh, minor, minus uh, cost for major unit, major faction military units, plus cost for minor faction military units. Or loss of dust per declared war on empire and bonus diplomatic point gain. Okay, so this one cannot affect us at all. This one would be purely beneficial for us because we aren't, aren't actually running any minor faction units in our armies. Oh, although we're going to have to, aren't we? That's right. The next step of the quest is um, to take Hokiawai and some minor faction military units of level 4 at least to a place. Isn't that... I think that's right. So, actually, why don't we get on that? There's like four military units of level four. We're producing level fours right now, aren't we? We're producing level threes. We will be producing level fours once we get through this. So actually, maybe we should hold off on this until we can actually build these guys at the appropriate level. Uh, which means that we're not really in a big hurry to get stuff done here. guess we'll build up this way. I'm just thinking, like, 
it doesn't really matter what direction we go in. And then when we build here, it'll level up our uh, intensifier. Okay, so we're going to wait until we actually have the next uh, the next era accomplished before we start building our military units, provided that they are the thing I think they I think they need to be. Which means we can... Do I want to run out and get these ruins? Probably not. We probably want to just turn around. Let's head back down here and see what's what. And actually, Turl can probably redevote people to food. And also, also, I can, I'm certain, buy another hero now. So let's go have a look at that. So we do still have one city ungoverned. Right, a level for Long Fangs is definitely a reduction in unit cost. Do I want to just swap him into Gadanak? We only have two villages in Gadanak, right? Yeah. Plus two. He'd be a little bit less effective here, but... Gadanak needs him a little bit more than Madanov does, and we can just swap the uh, the Broken Lord down here and still get a little bit of river advantage. Actually, we only have one river tile in the city. No, never mind. We're in a good spot. Uh, they have attacked us on the water, which is not a thing that we can reasonably fight, so we're just going to lose that unit. That's fine. I bet I could have searched a ruin before doing that if I had uh, if I had been quick at the beginning of the turn. Alright, so like I said, we're going to have that guy drop a Volcano Former. Here we have a, a considerable amount of fortification, but no actual units in the garrison yet. I think we're going to just go for this. Next turn we'll declare, start up a siege, and just have at them. We have, we'll have three Stone Sentinels as backup from Madanev's garrison. Yeah. Yep, that is a thing we are doing. And it looks like Red is winning. Yeah, Red's winning this war handily enough that I don't expect we'll see any retaliations. Okay, well. All benefit for us, then. We can actually probably get this guy back in range, right? He's pretty close to the road. Let's see, where do we need to drop this Volcano Former? Uh, if we are... We're currently exploiting all of these tiles. We're going to build out onto these three eventually, so... Here is a pretty good spot. We'll need, yeah, we'll need all of this. He might not be able to get into range for the battle. It would it would not be a big deal, if that is the case. Yeah, he's not going to be able to. Okay, then we should also drop a Volcano Former here. How expensive are they now? Twelve each? This would be eight. You know, we'll make one out of, uh, out of Adamantium. Okay, let's do it. There, apparently there's a lot of other stuff I need to do this turn. Uh, you guys should... Hey, we can make an irrigation network. It's not very strong here. I guess what this city's doing should, it should probably be determined after the battle. Uh, the other cities around here, though... Just keep building out. Uh, we're a little bit short of pearls, right? Yeah, we're three pearls short of doing the thing I really want to do. I guess probably we should rebuild the minor faction villages. Alright, did I actually... Nope, I somehow did not assign this order. Build here. Build here. Not gonna let me build on top of the volcano former? That's weird. We've definitely done that before. I know I, I know that's the thing I'm allowed to do. Uh, 
Okay, well, I guess we can wait. We did put a district down on top of a volcano farm earlier this game, didn't we? Thought so. Hmm. Okay, so we need to declare war on these guys before I can actually draw a path into their territory. Okay, let's try this again. Now we actually have the uh, the resources to make this work. Uh, they would not like this, actually. This is a pretty not positive deal. Oh, they would love it if I declared war on the Wild Walkers. So we're not going to be able to get any value from them on this. We're just going to declare for ourselves then. Uh, are you guys interested in me declaring war on... Uh, nope, they don't even know the Vaulters. Okay, never mind. We'll just do our war deck uh, here. Apparently Red knows that I'm just going to use the declaration of war as a, uh, a means through which to gain territory, and they're not cool with it. Okay, if we if we attack from here, we might be able to involve the main uh, Tural's garrison, I think. Hold on, move around to here. I'm sure they have some feelings about that. If Cold War does not limit your ambitions... I mean, what's she going to say? No, please don't, but I, I don't think she's happy about this. Okay, so if we did bother to move up one more space, we still wouldn't be able to get uh, Charles Garrison involved. We only have 34... We should just attack. There's only one unit here. Yeah, this one militia, we don't need to... <laughs> we don't need to do this manually. The one militia does not manage to defeat us. All of the damage was taken by the hero. That's a little unfortunate. Okay, what do they got here? Not a great city. We gotta put down some volcano farmers real fast. Uh, so, we're definitely gonna put one down right here. Right, or like, right... Right here and right here have a significant amount of overlap. And don't actually get all the tiles of the city anyway, because this exploit will still be left out. Although, there's not any food here, so it's not a huge loss. But what if we did, like, here and here? That leaves these two tiles out, which is probably fine. And lets us plug another one in. Yeah, that's probably the right way to do it. So, let's make a couple. I think we can probably... Let's make one out of titanium and one out of adamantium. Drop one of them this turn. And then we just need to hang around a little bit. And if I were going to build a golem camp, where would I put it? Uh, there is an anomaly over here. There's a pretty good anomaly over here. See, this. Oh, all this territory is just like bad desert. So we'd probably want to put it like this, maybe? Right here, we get an extra lava flow tile, I guess. But uh, if you're wondering why these are so different, this is shrubland while this is sandstone. Sandstone has science on it, obviously. And we do have a geomic lab already built here. So yeah, right on top of the anomaly or next to the anomaly? I think, let's go right on top. We get the extra sandstone space. I like this. Alright, that's what you're doing for right now. I gotta go hire a hero. Uh, so it turns out we do not need to build additional military units. That's pretty much what my concern was. Move these guys up and that'll be exactly enough to fill Gadnex Garrison. So now we look strong against the Wild Walkers. Hopefully the... Ardent Mages will hold on to this territory long enough for the Wild Walkers not to have a real threat against any of our less developed territory. So given that we don't need military units, I think we can slow down on the building for a minute here. Uh, actually would really like some watchtowers, that would be handy. Our vision of our own territory right now is so bad. And the city doesn't have anything really tremendously important to do. Okay, so we're working hard on our tax. Let's get ourselves a hero, a final governor. Uh, so we do have another Exit the Chosen available. Researcher Nam Kang is a draken with food boost 3. That's interesting. Plus food on rivers... 
plus a considerable amount of influence. Bunch of approval. Yeah, this this is okay. It's an okay governor hero. I think I might want Exit. Like, I just think Exit the Chosen is a very, very good governor. Alright, so that is Tieren, right? Yeah. This is the one place that we do not yet have a governor. Okay, I think we are in pretty good shape here. So, we could probably now ring a truce out of light blue. Oh, they're in bad shape. They're actually losing all of their territory. Nope, they are not willing to pay for a truce. Well, I'm willing to stay at war with them as long as they want to stay at war. And when they do want to reverse that status, we will charge them through the nose for it. All right, let's do one more turn here. Let me get all my Volcano Formers down. Oh hey, it's just about Eclipse time. So at this point, we really don't have anything to do with Dust except to... Uh, except to use it to rush stuff in cities. Let's put that down there. And then we probably want to put another one down over here. And then we gotta get the Golem Camp area as well. I probably don't want to use Titanium. We could use Glass Steel. Like, our, our rate of Glass Steel mining is not very good, but we also don't spend very much of it. Alright, and then we'll run over here and get the rest of the Golem Camp area. I'll probably just drop it right on the Golem Camp. One space of overlaps, not too bad. In fact, we might even do one more turn just so that I don't forget to do that. Okay, what was I doing with you? I guess we have enough troops moving toward Gadanak to fill its garrison anyway, so maybe this guy is just like an ocean explorer now? I don't think there's anything else extremely pressing going on around here. Alright, Gadanek is about to be looking pretty tough. Once we finish that, we want to put up... Uh, actually, we have a significant number of river tiles in here now, so... Also lake tiles. So this stuff all looks pretty good, but why don't we make sure that we have... The 100 extra fortification. I want this city to be a fortress. What do we have going on in Tural? Not much. Tural probably just... Uh, first of all, Tural can probably focus on producing population again. We're not really in a big hurry to get these expansions done. We're probably going to have to wait until the winter to actually build this intensifier. Uh, it's not a big deal. We're not short on adamantium. We might find some pearls down here, maybe. Maybe we could get it up a little bit earlier. And we're about to move on to the next step of Hakia Wai's faction quest. Although, like I said... If it does, in fact, require us to produce minor faction units of level 4, we're going to have to wait two turns before doing that. Alright, do we want to make... I think we make the next Volcano Former out of Palladian, right? Palladian's important, but also... Uh, also, the Volcano Formers are nice and cheap. Also, also, getting locked up pretty bad there. Uh, so we did that. We got some adamantium. Yep. Search her to indicate. Uh, search the indicated map marker with a minor faction army of at least four level fours. And it is a nice, easy one to search, at least. We've been pushed back to Cold War by the Ardent Mages, which is a declaration of intent, certainly. That's the thing we're going to have to deal with. Let's make ourselves a volcano former and form up this territory. And then I think probably head back in this direction so that we can ward off attack by our uh, by our erstwhile friends. I mean, it may still be feasible to just get them uh, to go back to peace with us. We're eleven turns to the next Empire plan, so we can afford to spend a little bit of a uh, little bit of influence. Oh, that's a movement conflux. Hold on, we'll get that, and then we'll go back out to sea. I wasn't really thinking about the value of Confluxes, but yeah, I should definitely not have put that dude in the sea yet. 
All right, and Hokia Y will just grab us. I guess we could use more glass steel. So we can keep building volcano farmers out of it. And then actually, uh, quite a lot of really basic science uh, gear here. How much river do we have? We have four river tiles here and none in the main ter- Oh no, some in the main city as well. Well, actually, yeah, uh, food from the river may be a higher priority than some of this other stuff. The city is working on quite a few river tiles. Okay, all that stuff done. Now I feel a little bit more secure that I will not forget to volcano form this. This whole region is going to be quite good for us. I think that was a... That was lucky. It was lucky that the opportunism worked out quite the way it did there. So one last check. Static curiosity. Okay, they're closer to the idea of a truce now. We'll check back with them a little later in the next episode. Uh, how do you guys feel about peace? How hard would it be to get you back to peace? Probably pretty hard. That's not great for us. Okay, we're going to have to uh, buff up Turl and Hendwin at the very least. TRN... Aaron probably can rely on Hendwin's garrison for defense. Yeah, maybe. They'll want fortification here. We may have to just build a lot of fortification buildings over the next uh, the next few turns. Okay, well. I mean, I think we're in a good position to at least continue our faction quest. The world is evolving quickly, and I'm afraid we may not be able to evolve quickly enough to keep up. But that is going to have to be it for us for today. So, thank you all so much for watching. Come back next time. To see if uh, maybe we finally suffer our first offensive incursion. And we'll see you then.